welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Mommy Momo here. What's up or what it do, boo? So excited about today's video. Today is going to be a full face for beginners video. This is going to be more of a natural kind of glam full face. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. And as always, subscribe and make sure you hit that bell button if you haven't already. And don't forget to like the video and dislike if you're a hater. And let's get right into it. Before I do any primers or foundation, I like to go in with the 4th Ray Beauty White Tea Face Milk. This is what it looks like. It really helps my foundation look good. It helps my skin feel good under all day under all of that makeup. <gasps> now this has been my favorite one to use because it just helps my skin look really healthy and glowy. I like to start with the eyeshadow while that just kind of settles in. I have been loving this P. Louise primer base lately. I have mine in the shade Rumor 2. So I'm just going to place this on my eye. So the reason why you use a base is because it just helps the eyeshadows perform better on your eyelids. I'm going to blend it with this little sponge that I got from the Jeffree Star and Morphe collection. Eyeshadow bases have made a difference for me because I've noticed that the pigmentation looks better. If you use a concealer, girl, trust me, there is nothing wrong with that. Your favorite concealer would do just fine. So if you are a beginner and you're just kind of like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what eyeshadow to play with, I recommend these e.l.f. Bite Size Shadows. They come with four beautiful shadows. Here I am going to use the palette Car Carnival Candy as well as the palette Pumpkin Pie. If you are not into eyeshadows at all, the best thing I love to do is I like to put buff a bronzer in my crease or a blush in my crease and call it a day. So from the Carnival Candy palette, I'm going to take this very pretty neutral shade. I'm going to go in with this e.l.f fluffy eye blending brush. I'm just going to pat that in back and forth motion. I'm going to go in with the pumpkin pie palette, same brush, but I did wipe it off and I'm going to take this pretty brown shade right here and I'm just going to buff this one into my crease only. This is the Morphe M433 brush. So I'm going to go in with this deeper brown shade from Carnival Candy. I'm going to place it on my outer corner, just kind of like right here. The reason why I'm doing that is just to kind of add a smoky kind of look to the end of the eye. So to finish off this eye look, I'm going to take this flat brush from Morphe. It's the M224 brush. I'm going to spray it with my Catrice Prime and Fine Spray. I like to wet my brushes before I dabble into pretty glitter shades or even sometimes regular eyeshadow shades because it really does help with the pigmentation um, payoff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dabble into this pretty um, glittery shade from the Pumpkin Pie Shadow. I'm just going to get that all over my brush. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to put it basically right here at the beginning of the eye and just dragging it to the middle very lightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe off the edges. So now what we're going to do is we are going to just basically jump right into the face. I'm going to prime my face and a good primer depends on your skin type. So for my skin type, I'm very dry to normal skin. I get really dry around my nose area or right here around my mouth. And then I have a little bit of oil right here in the middle of my forehead. Personally, I like to go in with um, a primer that is going to cater to um, all skin types. The Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer is for all skin types. I recommend really figuring out what kind of skin type you have personally. If I were you, I would definitely try to do that first before buying a primer. This is for all skin types. It even says it on the bottle, so that's why I do recommend this because it's for everybody. I just like to add a little bit. You do not need a lot of this stuff. Like, it definitely spreads. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub that in. I like to go in with the primer water. The primer water adds hydration back into my skin, and then it also, like kind of seals in that primer and just kind of makes everything look really good and mesh very well. So today I'm going to use the Prime and Fine by Catrice um, Cosmetics. This is a dewy glowy fixing spray. It prepares the skin, improves makeup wear, and refreshes complexion. Since we're doing a more natural day, I'm going to go in with the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skincare. It says that it is um, 
medium coverage. It is water light. It is water light. It has a natural radiant finish. It says it improves bare skin in two weeks. I have mine in the shade Medium Natural 31. Also, as a beginner, applying the foundation to your skin is a big deal. You want to make sure you apply your products with something that's going to work better for you. Some people can use a brush and they love the way that looks. I love personally the way a sponge looks because it looks like it's just pounced into the skin and it looks flawless. Now, I did recently purchase this um, Tarte um, foundation buffing brush. This brush is amazing. I'll do um, my right side, which will be your left. I'll do that using the Tarte brush. And then my left side, which will be your right, I'll use my Holy Grail, my new Holy Grail sponge, the Sonia sponge. And this is my first time using this again. So I'm going to just squeeze it on the skin. So I'm gonna go in with the sponge first. That really does look like my skin but better it does run so you just be careful we're gonna build it up and see what it looks like okay so far it does look really good on the skin it's not really covering up my blemishes so it is I guess medium coverage so let's go ahead and apply the other side with the brush If I can just be super honest, I am kind of loving the way the brush applied better. So far, the It Cosmetics um, Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care, I'm really actually loving this. We're gonna jump right into contouring. I like to start with my lighter contour first because I do let that sit. I like it to really, um, really hide the bags and just really you know do its job so today i'm also going to use a new concealer this is the clinique even better all over concealer plus eraser this is what it looks like and i have mine in the shade warm neutral 38 stone if i'm not mistaken and this is what the applicator looks like i like the angle of it it's really going to help me get into that inner corner of my eye so let's try it out let's see applicator is very soft it feels very comfortable while I do the other eye I'll explain to you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it so when you do your concealer on your under eye you want to make sure you really get into the corner of that eye drag it across so I like to take it and I like to drag it down and sort of create like that triangular look and i don't go down too far i kind of just stop right there and the reason why is because i like a brighter under eye so since i do like a brighter under eye i do like to drag my concealer out and just kind of give me that really pretty like glamorous under eye now everybody does not like that under eye some people just like something more natural so if you like something more natural i wouldn't go down this far i would just add it you know and then drag it down to where you you know would want it to be so i'm just going to go ahead and highlight my forehead as well i like to take the applicator and just kind of fluff it out i take it down the nose because i'm going to slim my nose down and this is going to be the lighter highlight like the basically the center of the nose i like to use this on my cupid's bow just to add a cute glamorous highlight to the bow and the chin next we're going to do our darker contour since this is a beginner friendly video i'm going to go in with what is easier that is the kkw contour stick when contouring i like to make this face i'm going to follow that line with my stick I'm not gonna touch my face though. I'm gonna follow the line. I'm gonna follow it to my hairline. So. Mark. So this is basically where my cheek is going to be lifted at. Lift that cheek up. You wanna stop and then just blend it. And as you blend it, you'll notice that it'll, it will go down further. I'll show you how I do the other side just in case that went too fast so and like I said I don't do it all the way I just do it a little bit and you want to make sure you contour in that hairline because you're, you don't want your cheekbone to just be here no 
it want you want it coming out the hairline like you were born with these cheeks honey and they're high and they're ready to play so I'm just gonna go ahead and add it so that I can snatch my forehead in as well I just take the edge of it not going in full force just the edge of it and I'm just gonna add it close to that light contour okay so then I make sure that I put a little bit by my brow bone because you want that contour to come down like this snatching that nose i like to blend out my darker contour first again i like to let the light contour just kind of sit and relax so when you blend out your darker contour you want to make sure you use a brush that is really going to help you disperse that product something that's going to help you really blend it so here i have the Olimar cosmetics bronzer brush you want to blend your circular motions upwards this is upwards not downwards this is downwards so let's snatch those cheeks up. And you see, I'm just going back and forth and I drag it down just a little bit every time I come back down. When I blend my outer contour, I like to blend into the hairline because you want that darker contour to look seamless. You don't want like your hairline not to match your darker contour on your forehead. So now that I finished that, I'm gonna leave my nose contour there just for a little while and I'm gonna blend out the lighter contour. Now to blend out the lighter contour, I'm just gonna take this small um, little Jeffree Star and Morphe collab brush. I mean, sponge. <laughs> I like this sponge because it's really small. It really fits into that inner corner and helps me blend this concealer out. So we're just gonna tap. And I like to drag it out because it helps me just also have like that snatched look. So when I do my forehead, I just tap it and take it outwards. Tap it and take it outwards. Not too far, because you don't want to go over that darker contour. So after I've pretty much blended that out, I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I use for my darker contour. And I'm just gonna like basically let those shades blend in together. See how it just kind of sucks that forehead in and I have like that light area just right there. Boom go in with my flawless concealer brush from elf and i like to hit on top of those brows just to make it look more seamless and then i like to take the concealer that's right here and just buff it out so then i'm going to blend the darker part of my nose contour first these two brushes are my holy grail nose contour buffing brushes this one is the elf sculpting face brush and then this one is the elf sculpting concealer brush the shapes of these are just so perfect. So I take the triangular one first and I just basically spread it to where it needs to be while also blending it out. Okay, so once I've kind of like just blended out the harshness of that, I take this one and I just kind of blend it in. Just back and forth motions. Then I take the sponge and I just dab in that lighter contour just so that I can blend that in and then it gives my nose like that um, snatch look. You see how it looks very snatched and then that brighter area just, you know, it just it looks really good. And I also like to go back in and set my concealer. So we're going to go ahead and set that concealer first. Let me show you what I use. What I like to take is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This is what it looks like. I have mine in the shade medium 25 if you are curious. And then I also like to take the Alamar Cosmetics Brighten and Bronze Complexion Trio. This one is in the shade medium tan. So I'm just gonna go in first with um, Woke, which is a brightener shade. What I like to do first is I like to take my sponge. I dip into the brightener shade. And I just set that concealer. So pretty much after I have used my sponge to set those lighter contour areas, go in with my Sephora powder. This time I'm taking another brush. I'm taking the buffing foundation brush, the FD1 brush from Profusion Cosmetics. You could take this brush or any brush you like. I like to dabble into that powder as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and set under my eye again. If you have really, really dry skin, I do not recommend using a lot of powders on your face. I'm also going to drag it down the bridge of my nose, but I'm going to use the sponge. To set my darker contour, we're going to go in with my girl, Rihanna Fenty Beauty. And this one is in the shade Shady Biz. This is from her Sunstalker Bronzer Collection. It's a powder bronzer, and this is what it looks like. Very beautiful, just very 
warm and gorgeous I'm gonna dab into that what I do first this is what helps me is I set it kind of stipple it on top of that darker bronzer and I just do it on my forehead everywhere that I put the darker shade also gonna add some to the sides of the nose the same way we spent the brush upwards when we did the contour shade, we're gonna spin the brush in that same upwards motion. Okay, so now that I have set all of those powders, we are going to set our face with baking powder. These two powders that I'm about to show you are very um, just natural looking powders. No, there's no flashback with these um, powders. So these powders look really good on your skin in pictures and they last you through hot days, cool days, um, rainy days. We're gonna start with the Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder. This one is in the shade Original. I'm gonna go in with this Jeffree Star and Morphe Collection sponge. I like the way this just sets my makeup. It, it looks so good in pictures and my makeup lasts all day. What I like to do is I like to start by my ear line, kind of just like here and So for me, my lips are a good marker, and I just like to make a little U upwards, like that. So I put a line right here, and if I continue this contour upwards, it's going to go right to that line. But you do want to create that beautiful snatch, like circle jaw line. So basically, I just put powder on my jaw, jaw on back, you know. I'm going to like to add some just right here, because I did put concealer right here. I'm just going to take the same end of that sponge and I'm just kind of dabbing the pointed end into my powder, really getting it on both sides like that because now we're going to sculpt the nose. This is key. So what I've learned um, over the time is that there's like, you know, like this little hump right here on your nose. It's good to start the powdering along that, if you could just follow a straight line, um, because it really helps give you that snatched look. So after I've basically constructed that, I go back in with my little edge and I just run it right down the middle because you wanna make sure you set that concealer that you put right down the middle, and then also brightening it up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set that forehead contour. I'm also going to use it under my eye Um, I'm just gonna go in with this fluffy brush right here. I'm going to smile because I have smile lines. And I'm just gonna add powder to those smile lines. The Laura Mercier powder is um, a soft mattifying powder. So this is what it looks like. I do have the translucent loose setting powder from them. The benefits of this powder are just really amazing. It's a soft matte powder. Um, it's oil free. You look great in pictures. You look great all day. No flashback. Like this powder is just, just amazing and all skin tones can use it. All skin tones can use this one powder. What I like to do is I go back in with the little powder sponge or brush that I used earlier and I just like to gently set this on top of my powder that I did under my eye because this powder helps blur fine lines. And then I'll also take it over my fine lines again. So I'm gonna smile, it's gonna hit those fine lines, okay. While we bake, I'm going to go ahead and start with the lashes. I'm going to go in with the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Phenomenal mascara. $4 at Ulta. Can you believe it? Okay, we're just going to go in with my current favorite lashes. These are the Jasmine Brown Collab with Ilure Lashes. These are just amazing. I'm going to go ahead and take my Kiss Lash Glue, which is my favorite lash adhesive. I'm going to go ahead and just glue these bad babies up. So I'm just gonna use this Olimar Cosmetics Brightening Brush and I'm just gonna dust that powder off. It just set everything just so beautifully. Everything looks just so smooth. So a trick that I like to use when I wanna just really lock that powder in, I spray my sponge and I spray my face. 
I'm gonna go in with the amazing MAC Fix It Plus Primer and Finishing Spray. I'm just gonna go in with the same sponge we used to set our face. I'm gonna spray the sponge. Oops, unlock it. I'll unlock it first, how about that? So I'm gonna spray my sponge, just kinda spray it all over. And then I'm gonna also spray my face, not too close up, a little far back. I'm just gonna go in and pounce the powder in. You do not wanna dampen the sponge too much or you'll mess up your entire face because then your makeup will start to look splotchy. So this is what we're looking like. So I'm just gonna take this smudge brush from Morphe. Well, I call it a smudge brush. It's the M508 brush. I'm gonna go back in with the Carnival Candy palette. I'm just gonna take this pretty brown right here. I'm just going to basically smoke out my lower lash line. Okay, so on to my, one of my favorite parts. The blush. I love, love, love blush. So for today's blush, I'm going to go in with my favorite blush. This is the Burst Bees Blush in Toasted Cinnamon. And it's just a beautiful, like, brownish, mauve toned blush. Um, very natural, very gorgeous. I'm going to take my favorite blush brush, which is the Profusion Cosmetics PDH brush. I just think it's so perfect for applying brush to, blush to those apples of the cheek. So I just dab into this and I just smile. Tap it on them cheeks. I tap it on the apples and then I like to drag it back. Okay, so we're just going to add a little bit to the nose. I like to do that. Um, because I just love how it just adds like that warmth look to the tip of the nose. So another blush that I have that is one of my favorites, the Kylie Cosmetics Batty on the Block blush. Now I'm not going to take a lot of this. I'm just going to dab very lightly into it just to add a bit of pink to the cheeks. Almost just like a flush of just embarrassment. One of the key steps after I finish my powder, I like to set my brows with a brow mascara. My favorite brow mascara is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I have mine in the shade Black. Now, brow mascaras are so essential. They set those brows, lock them in place. You know, you're not having melted brows in the middle of summer anymore. Whatever you're doing, these brows are going to stay in place. Now we're going to do highlights. So one of my favorite highlighting palettes is the Ofra Glow Up Palette. It comes with four beautiful highlighting shades. Now, if you are a beginner, I do suggest getting a highlight palette. That way you can mix and match and just play in different shades to know what you like. So to do my highlight, I'm just going for a more subtle glow. I'm gonna use this small um, flat setting powder brush, PD5 brush from Profusion Cosmetics. I'm just gonna dab into um, Rodeo Dry from this palette, which is one of my favorites. And to do a subtle glow, how I highlight my face is I don't just do strip, 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 like no. I start like right here. And I just drag it upwards and go back and forth. Cause to me that looks just more beautiful and more natural and glowy. And then I also just do top of my brow bone. When you highlight your nose, so what you're supposed to do is not one strip, but you're supposed to highlight the tip just a tad like that. And then you're supposed to also just highlight right here at the bridge. So it helps bring out that contour and make your nose look snatched. So for lips, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. and Indobella Noir lip pencil. I think these are discontinued. So now I'm gonna go in with the Uma. I think it's called, it's pronounced Uma Beauty. This one is in the shade Eartha. So this is what Eartha looks like. It's just a beautiful mauve pink toned lipstick. I'm gonna go in with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. As a beginner, setting sprays are very, very crucial, just like the setting powder. Put a link in the cards, my favorite setting sprays video. That way I don't bore you to death, okay? All right, guys, that is going to conclude our full face for beginners. I hope you guys really learned some things. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to teach you things that you didn't know, maybe some tips and tricks that you can now use. I will see you guys next time. Bye.